Prior to the artwork, we spent time working on the historical aspect of the Runaway Ads. Uh, the students spent a lot of time analyzing each article, um, describing what they saw, writing key details, physically and even um, characteristics that they were able to make inference from. Just three pounds, that's it. It, it was, it's just really um, sad how society how has treated people on just uh, race and gender. Here we're just trying to show how he's just trying to hide from everyone trying to find him and everyone who's, who's um, putting him at fault for what, what he was born, how he was born tactics that you have to know before you actually go on this journey. It's a very risky journey. So um, you have to know like what's your what you're aiming for. So this man is trying to go away from to the sea. So as you can see he has a coat on and he's ready with his stockings. So and it's night so he has to know all this stuff so he can run away cleverly and uh, successfully. Your techniques, why you're using those techniques, what effect you're looking for, what mood what tone you're setting, right? and include some information regarding the slave himself, the mood you're setting with him, situation he may be in from your descriptions, right? And the teacher's partnership here was just amazing. So much support I got, and I was able to communicate with teachers in between sessions of meeting kids, so that was really powerful too, where writing came into play for creating statements to back up their artwork. The hardest thing was to show him like pretending like he was um, free because it's kind of hard to show how he's like feeling and pretending to be free. So that's hard to show, right? Even, even in a photograph, it would be difficult to tell that a person is pretending to be free. Like, how can you depict that? So that's a very challenging thing. It's like you want to interpret as accurately as possible and at the same time some creative um, leeway might help you really give the viewer a stronger idea of the personality because that's what it's about. It kind of impacted us to like kind of be grateful for what we have now because compared to what they had to do just to get like food or maybe to get freedom it's nothing compared to what we have to do with